name is Adam. Uh, I'm from Derry. Uh, born in London, Derry. Really depends on what street signs, what channels you watch. Love in Derry. But um, I know, I get a lot lots. When I moved to Belfast five years ago, people go, where are you from? Well, I'm from Fulton, Derry. And I can tell you're born about my half on. <laughs> But, um, so I thought, right, I'm going to draw a line under it right now. We have alternate days. We call it Derry on some days, and we call it London Derry on other days. And then on like, say, the weekend, we give it a different name, something that sums up the people that come from that area. We call it Legendary. <laughs> I heard the other day Mark McGuinness did that in the book for culture. But I'm not going to say who just told me to open it, you know what I mean? <laughs> My staff person there, you guys call centers. Um, but yeah, they take the support for broadband. Um, so basically, all I do is sit from 8 o'clock in the morning and listen to people. We take calls from all over the UK, so it's just people calling in. Here, then, hey, go, oh, hey, this broadband's fucking best call. <laughs> when, it doesn't matter what you're saying, you're just saying the poor machine is broke. That's what you're really saying. You're just gonna go, I've been waiting all day for that woman to get in the house. I got your eye in the hand, come on, Jerry! When I'm on the phone, what do you want to do? Come over and finish you off, or else? I don't know what you want me to do. But, um, but before I worked in a call centre, this lady said I've been here five years, I used to work in the Europa Hotel. Yeah, I used to work on a uh, wee restaurant on the second floor, I used to do breakfast. So it would be like half five in the morning, I'd be serving you a breakfast. Um, and we used to get like, you know, celebrities would come through the Europa Hotel, and one day I got my skitter from the streets. Yeah! You know, fucking dry your ass, kids? No, I can't. If I'm gonna be sitting there with hair dryer, I'll. A straight joke to laugh at that. A straight. Look down the back. My door. But yeah, so I'm sitting in the Europa Hotel. I got me apron. Hairnet, rock balls, no way of this coat, my tie, so we clip on tie. And my skinner from the streets comes up to me and he goes, in a dairy accent, and I saw, Here, man, there's a, a poster over there, burnt my slice of toast. And I was like, okay, and it was one of those conveyor belt toasters, has anybody seen those conveyor belt toasters? And it's nice to keep yeah, it was one of those. So I went up there and was like, not a problem, I'm like, let's sort this out for you, so, did you just turn the, the heat down a wee bit? And just make the weekend there a little bit slower, and then you just sort it. And you know what he did? He took the burnt slice and he put it back in. <laughs> and I was like, what are you hoping to achieve? Are you hoping this is the reverse the burnt process? You found a dick! But what I should have said was, you should try your ice mate, it's more slices than my loaf. But I was one of those half five in the morning, so I was like, shit, I should have said that! <laughs> and I thought, you're a comedian, like, for fuck's sake. But before I used to work in Europe, that was my first job when I came to Belfast. Um, I used to work in a McDonald's in Derry. I was just getting cheers for all of this that I worked in, like, fuck, I thought I worked in an abattoir. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I worked in this McDonald's in uh, Derry. There wasn't really much to do in that McDonald's, we didn't really have much business. We were behind a car dealership. Um, but our day to day routine was like, if somebody walks up to the counter and goes, uh, can I get a Big Mac? I don't want no cheese on it. The person at the till would go, yeah, and I went to McDonald's and go, alright. And they would type it into the till and go, Big Mac and cheese. And we're sitting in uh, the kitchen and this sweet girl said, come through and stuff. And all the girls said, it says, Big Mac and cheese. So we're all, right, that's Big Mac and cheese, right? Make sure I don't want to eat that Big Mac. <laughs> But um, but when you're doing 400 Big Macs at once, you just kind of blip 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 blip. And you get into the routine, you dress them all. And um, we used to have this manager, this big lanky fucking ginger fucker. No offense, name Jacob. He's smiling around. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, and before I even knew who Jacob King was, I thought he was a wrestler with a name like that. Jacob <laughs> <laughs> King. <laughs> but um, yeah. So we used to have this manager, this big lanky ginger fucker, and he was. One of those kind of token characters, you would get like those token Northern Irish characters you get in Hollywood. 
were the right one. I crossed between being very camp and very angry. So, so I said I'm dressed boys big nice and cheese them all. And he was kicking into the kitchen. <laughs> Somebody thought we'd put cheese that like that. Somebody thought we'd put cheese that like that. Somebody thought we'd put cheese that like that. There must have been no fucking cheese on it. You know, the last, the last, right after the credits, everybody know what I'm on about? Where it's like, just after the credits, it'd be like a five minute shot of like a guy crying in the bin bag or a faggot rolling his butt. And I'm like, oh, sorry, it was me. Sorry, my bad. I fucking put cheese on. What does they want to know? And my manager's like, what the fuck? I'm coming to the hospital. It's fucking allergic to cheese. It's fucking an ant's right in there. But I'm like, if you're not allergic to cheese, you fucking look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use to do magic, but this is the only trick I know. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the club of invisibility. Ooh. And, um, oh yes. It's the only magic trick I know. This gives the wearer uh, invisibility. Because the name club of invisibility. It means you're completely transparent. Like I can walk past you in the street while wearing this, and you wouldn't even notice me. Do you just want to see how it works? Yeah. Club of invisibility. Change, please. <laughs>